All right, here's the deal. At the moment, my eBay store sales suck. No, God, please, no, no! They are not where they need to be. Last night, Daffy and I sat down and we tried to work out what we could do about it. And we've come up with the idea of running a markdown sale, 25% off every single one of my items. Hello, Frank Walker from National Tiles. You could say I was channeling my inner Oprah Winfrey. It felt a whole lot like that because it is just a ridiculous promotion. So in this video, guys, I'm gonna show you how to run a markdown sale if you haven't done that yet on your eBay store. And I'm also gonna have a bit of a chat about whether or not you should have an eBay store. If you are just starting out, only doing a few items, should you have an eBay store subscription? So there's gonna be a lot of information regarding that for you guys. Um, just a normal work-life day as well today. I'm gonna to show you all the things that I get up to. We've got a lot to go and get done. I'm up bright and early. I'm feeling ready. I'm good to go. Let's go grab the sales that came through before the promotion kicked in yesterday. So the first sale were these Reebok trail running shoes. They're a men's US nine and a half. I don't sell a lot of Reebok shoes, but these are in excellent condition. And I think I only paid about $5 for them on memory. Uh, they've sold for $47.95. So I was hoping to get about 40 bucks for them uh, plus postage. And that's exactly what I got. So um, I think in the end, I've probably profited about 25 to $30 on these. Like I said, I don't sell a lot of Reebok, but I'm happy to get this one out. Slightly longer sales cycle, but I still got the price that I was after. I've already looked out the next pair. It was these Vans high top shoes. So plain gray, uh, men's pair of skateboarding shoes. I do sell Vans quite a bit. And as I mentioned in Sunday's video, uh, if you caught that one, I'm generally trying to sell my Vans for about $40. Uh, with the high tops though, as you can see here, I, I generally go for about 45 bucks on these, but they have ended up selling for 47.95 as well, same as the Reeboks. So uh, high tops, I generally try and go 45, low tops, uh, I'll always go for about 40. So uh, probably beating the averages on this one. Cool color and um, yeah, a slightly larger shoe as well. I think it's a US size 11. I do love to go and thrift my hats as well, guys. There's some good money to be made in the hat category. As you can see here, I've got quite a few to sell. Uh, this one though has sold overnight and it was the Calvin Klein jeans hat. So just a plain black snapback style, uh, adjustable obviously, any size. Uh, yeah, really kind of low fit as well, but $25 was the sale price on this one. And uh, I think I only bought it for maybe two or $3 in the end. So uh, a cool little flip, um, the hats. Like I said, I've got so many of them including those Waratahs hats that just aren't selling for me, but uh, all in all, it's a good category to get into. And then the last one that we had was this Gantt shirt, uh, a really nice Gantt shirt, actually. This was a plain red Salisbury Twill heavy cotton shirt, uh, size large. So this one ended up actually selling for $28, but in all honesty, I really do think I could have got a few more for it. I took a best offer at $28, uh, but I had this one listed up for quite a while at 35 bucks. I think eventually it would have sold, but for $28 to sell it for 20 bucks plus postage, I've got so many shirts here, like I mentioned in these videos, so I'm just happy to get that one out the door. But honestly, guys, Gant, a really good brand, and these ones do actually sell for me quite consistently. So there you have it, guys, just the four items. We've got the two pairs of shoes, the shirt, and the hat, but they weren't the only items that ended up selling for me yesterday because I did do the 25% off markdown sale, and I've had another five sales come through. So the numbers are looking pretty good so far for the last 24 hours, but I'll get into those sales a little bit later on in the episode once I've shown you how to actually do the markdown process for your own eBay store. So um, hang around for that. But for now, we'll dive into some listings, and then we've got that big Facebook Marketplace pickup coming as well. So let's keep charging. So I normally don't do the post on a Tuesday. If you guys watch this video every week, you'll know that I don't go to the post on a Tuesday, but I have to today because I didn't have any boxes yesterday when I did my Monday post. So I had to go to Bunnings, I grabbed some boxes, I came back today, obviously did those. I've got two ready to go. So we're gonna go and get this Facebook Marketplace pickup that I've been talking about, and then we're gonna to go to the post office, and then we are gonna go thrifting. Um, but before we get stuck into that, while I've got a good 10 minutes in the car, 
A question that I get asked quite a bit on this YouTube channel is when to open up an eBay store. It, like we're gonna go through today, you can do these markdown sales with a store. You can also obviously get into your analytics and look at all the stats behind the sales and the way you're kind of tracking with click-through rate, impressions, and all the rest of it. You don't get that with a basic account and you only get the 40 free listings a month as well. So I've always said to people, don't worry about the, the analytics side of things. You just wanna make sure that as soon as you start to push 50 listings, that's the time to start looking at a store subscription. It's only about 25 bucks a month to open up a basic store. And then from there, you get those benefits. You can start doing sales. But the idea of it is that you're listing up at least 50 items every single month. So that would be the time that I'd be starting to get into it. That's personally when I got into it, when I started to hit 50 every month, that's when I bought my uh, store subscription and I haven't looked back. So uh, for the small uh, sellers out there that are just doing this casually, if you're not hitting 40 listings, those 40 free listings that you get every single month, I don't think a store is necessary. But the minute you start going past that and you start to head up towards 50 a month, that's your time to get it. Hey, how are you? Good, how are you? Not too bad. I should go in here. Yeah. Nice. Oh, all right, guys. <laughs> this is a great grab. Five PlayStation 3 games. She was selling a big bundle on Marketplace for 170 bucks. There was a PlayStation 3 console. There was two controllers and 18 games. And she listed them all up for $170. And I was having a bit of a flick through the listings last night. And this one didn't really catch my eye until I dove a little further into the games that she had for sale as well. These five games were all comping very, very well. And I said to her, I said, would you sell the games individually? There's five that I'm interested in. And she said, yep, I'll do them for you for $10 a game. So I thought that was at least going to make me some money, but I wanted to try and make it a little better for myself. And I said, well, would you do Would you do it for 40 bucks? So ultimately I'm, I'm getting these games for $8 each and the comps on all of them were excellent on eBay. And there were quite a number of comps as well on eBay. So I know that they are gonna sell in a pretty quick space of time as well. The first one that I've got for you here is uh, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Danger of the Doze. I think this one went for about $25. I did the numbers last night. I can't exactly remember. The comps here will tell you, but I think that was 25. Uh, that was a good get. I think this one was $35. Minecraft story mode. Awesome to find anything Minecraft, especially on PlayStation 3. It goes on to sell well. Got the other Minecraft game as well. I think this one was about $30 for the standard Minecraft version. Um, so both of those Minecraft games, about 65 bucks. Uh, Lego Jurassic Park. Look, this one isn't a massive one. I just thought I'd throw it in there. I think it goes for about $20 to $25, something like that. But I still thought it was worth the grab. But this game here is going to make my money back literally on the one sale itself. Ratchet and Clank G-Force is the game. Guys, if you can find anything Ratchet and Clank, goes on to sell incredibly well and a very, very fast sales cycle on eBay. There was a pre-owned condition sell for about 60 bucks and about two of them that sold for $45 as well. Everything else laid in the vicinity between 35 and 40 bucks for this game. So having just paid 40 bucks for these five games, I'm gonna make all my money back on this one alone. And then the rest of this is just gonna be profit. So very, very happy with the Facebook Marketplace uh, purchase there. The, the trick then or the tip that I've got for you is when you're looking through the listings, especially in video games, try and pick out the best of the bunch and just secure those. Guys, guess what? Guess what? We've had another five sales come through on eBay. So we're our sale promotion now, 16, 17 hours into the journey, we're up to 10 sales. That's huge, because I've had literally nothing come through for the last couple of weeks. So very, very stoked to get those 10 sales come in. Three really cool stories. One was one of the hoodies, one of the shit wholesale hoodies has sold. We're up to two now, which I'm very stoked about. Only another 138 to go, don't worry about that. They will sell. Uh, and I've also had an international sale as well. So there's an extra couple of dollars on the 25% off sale that I've made with the price point. And then the third one was uh, one that I actually forgot to mark as free postage. So they've paid the postage when I was happy to sell it as free. So there's an extra 12 bucks on that one as well. So I'll take you through it all later on. I'll show you how to do the promotion later on, but I am gonna jump into this thrift store to hopefully find some cool stuff. Let's do it. 
Hey guys, it's VoiceOver Matt here. Um, just having a look at the DVDs, as always, been able to find myself a Pink Panther set. Now, this was a complete collection. It had a $5 tag on it, but to be honest, it goes for about 30 bucks. so I was happy to pick this one up. The Cook and the Chef Series 2. Always look for the big fat DVD cases because you're always going to get a few more dollars for them. That one went for about 30 bucks as well. Have a look at this, guys. Running Bear. I don't buy a lot of women's clothing, but have a look at this guy. This one is a slightly larger size. It's an Australian size size 20, but it was only $12. And Running Bear is such a great brand. A really nice sweater like this, I had to grab it, guys. A very, very nice piece and a brand you guys definitely should be looking out for. Also found this one as well. This was Nana Judy. I think it was a $12 tag on this one. It actually goes for upwards of $40 on eBay. So this is a brand that I'll always look out for. This was actually a women's size small maroon, um, really nice jumper. I've had to go for this one as well. So guys, when you're out in the thrift, definitely look for this. I was very, very very happy to find it. Also found these jeans as well, Banana Republic. Um, look, I don't often buy Banana Republic, but these were brand new with tags, so I couldn't really say no to it. They were a size 12, they were a women's pair of jeans, and um, I've picked them up as well. I do think I'll be able to flip them into about $45, just given the fact that they are brand new with tags, and I've only paid $9. So good win there on the clothing front. Jumped into the shoes and the ASICs. They've come through yet again for me. Really stoked with this, guys. These have even got the boa laces, which <laughs> I've not even yet looked into them. Them, but they're only eight dollars as you can see there on the sole so i've picked these ones up and my standard shoe price i'm going to be playing between 50 to 60 dollars i have no doubt about it guys pretty good run let's get home and jump into doing a markdown All right, guys, so we've actually just fast forwarded through to about 5.30 in the evening. Um, long story short, uh, the coronavirus has swept through the Gold Coast, my hometown here, and we are now in a snap three-day lockdown. So I found out at about 2 o'clock this afternoon, right up until this point of the video, actually, and then I've gone out and I've filmed a trip to the thrift because on Thursday, we're literally going to be trapped indoors. We won't be able to go out and do anything, and I did want to get that video out. So uh, this, this full-on day has turned into an even bigger day where I've had to go out and film that video. And uh, yeah, you'll be able to see all of that footage. Uh, I'll cut that up over the next couple of days and get that across to you next Thursday. But um, that's sort of been the little bit of a gap, I guess, and the reason why it looks uh, a bit like the evening here for us now at the moment. But um, let's dive into the Markdown Manager and I will show you how to go about doing a sale if you guys want to do it. Now, um, if we go into my seller hub here and we have a look at the details, but the first step is going to be to go up and select the Marketing tab. From there, I click on Promotions. And that takes us into all of our markdowns. Now, you guys don't need to be doing a 25% off. You don't need to be doing across every single one of your items. You can pick and choose which ones you want to do. And you can also tier the percentage discounts as well. So there are a few ways to go about it. You don't need to just be doing what I'm doing here today. But as an example, I'm just going to do the one that I did last night. So on the right-hand side here, you'll see create a promotion. We will get four drop-down boxes, order discount, volume pricing, coupon, and sale event plus markdown. So we click on that one there. And then from from there, the first step that we need to do is pick what form of discount do we want to do. Now from there, I click on 25% in the first tab here. I could take a dollar value off every single one of my items, but then when you have different priced items, it can become a little bit confusing and a little bit difficult to try and price the right amount of dollar off. That's why the percentage discount is much, much simpler. From there, you've also got offer free postage on discounted items. I don't need to do that because my items are already free post. So that's the first thing to do. Literally just click on what discount you want to apply and then click on select. From there, you'll get a tab that opens up that says two options. And these two options are up to 500 items for selecting your own items. And from there, you can also just go in bulk and pick every, every single one of your items, but you are limited to just the 500. So if you're a small seller, less than 500 items in your store, or even if you're a beginner that doesn't have an eBay store, um, I'm not sure actually if you can run a promotion if you don't have a store subscription. But look, regardless, if you're a small seller, 500 items per promotion, uh, that is the option that you would select. And then on the right hand side, create rules using categories. Now that's the one that I'm gonna select because my store has a thousand items in it. You'll see here in the second tab here, select items. You've got a drop down box and you've got eBay categories. You've got your own store categories as well. It's something that I don't have set up very well just yet. And I do need to get on to do that. But with this sort of an example, what you could do is have pre-set up before you get into this step, all of your items that you want to have marked down to say 15 or 20%, whatever the 
case is, and then put those items into that pre-selected category. So that when you get to this step, you can click on store categories and simply pick 15% discount as your category. All your items will already be there if you've already done that prior work. For me though, all I wanna do is every single one of my items, so I'm gonna select all inventory. From there, I'm just gonna auto-generate every single one of my listings, as you can see here, that is now at a 25% off. So we've got here this first Pink Floyd, uh, Floyd T-shirt, it's $28.97, now down to $21.73. And that goes for every single one of my items. So a very easy and simple process to do, guys. I've now got every single one of my items set up to activate. The next step that I do is click on continue down the bottom here, and then you get a review and launch screen that opens up. So a very simple process here, you've got the sale event name. Now this isn't actually publicly shown, so you don't need to worry about what that says. From there, it says discount type and items. So we've got this set up to be 25% off each item, and that is our only rule that we have selected. I like to untick this box, which is basically just saying if I list any new items from here on in past this promotion being uh, launched, uh, I don't want the items to be discounted because they are fresh new items and I do want to give them a chance to sell at their full price. So I'm unticking that box and then the date ranges that I'm selecting is June 29 being today and I want it to start right now and I want it to run all the way through until June 30. So this is gonna be a 48 hour flash sale, 25% off every single one of my items in my store. From there, you'll see the sale event banner. Now you can get a bit uh, fancy about this and make sure your photos are the ones that you want to be presenting in your sale. I'm not too fussed about that. I don't really mind about how my storefront looks, even though I probably should, but I'll just go end of financial year sale uh, and I'll go, oh, whoop, I'll go capitals and I'll go 25% off. There we go. So end of financial year, you'll see the bottom uh, right here, it's come up with save up to 25%. It's the end of financial year. Now, down the bottom here, it says by launching, I agree to eBay promotions manager terms and conditions. You would need to agree to that. And then from there, you would just simply hit the launch button. From there, I won't do it because mine is already active and I do, or do already have this promotion running. So I won't click the launch button, but that is the process on how to set up a store uh, promotion is literally just three very quick steps that only takes a couple of minutes to do. And if you want to move stock when things are quiet, this is a great way to go about doing it. So there you go, guys. That's how to do a markdown for your sales. Now, um, look, great way to do it. Great way to get a few more sales. Let me know if that's helped you. If you've not done that one before, if you have done one before, let me know what works best for you when you are doing a markdown manager sale. Uh, it'd be great to hear that uh, feedback and those thoughts. Um, big day two videos got done in the end that trip to the thrift on thursday it's going to be an absolute cracker definitely hit the subscribe button to check that one out and also hit the subscribe button to see how my sale promotion goes over the next couple of days i'll be doing a full breakdown in my sunday what sold video so hang around for that one it's going to be a goodie um, the update that i've got for you to end this video on that sales promotion is that i've been able to sell 14 items now i average seven items a day so this is already 24 hours into the process double what i would normally do in a day so if that can continue and we can get upwards of 40 odd sales in three days, that's gonna be absolutely fantastic. Double what I would normally get. The money, the revenue, it is obviously a little bit less, no doubt about it, but it is just nice to see the sale volume there because it has been lacking over the last seven or eight days. But um, I do appreciate you tuning into this one, guys. If you're still here watching now, you are part of the 30% that remain to the end of the video. So I do appreciate your support. Can't thank you enough. Look forward to catching you in the next, which will be the pre-recorded trip to the thrift and then also my what's sold on Sunday to show you how this sale promotion has gone. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Look forward to catching you in the next.